So Oshkosh has some incredible aircraft. There's a lot of aircraft this year that have gotten the garnered a lot of attention. The RV-15 definitely being one of them. But in my opinion, the most impressive one that was released this year is this Scale Wings SW-51 Mustang. It is absolutely incredible. It's a fully carbon fiber, 70% scale, P-51 Mustang. This was actually just released here this week at Oshkosh. It flew for the first time publicly ever anywhere on Oshkosh in opening day here in 2022. Because it is made of carbon fiber, it's way stronger than the original P-51 Mustang. So the strength that the wings have are far superior to what you would get otherwise. Right now, this is powered by a Rotex uh, 915 turbo engine. So you get a lot of power, about 140 horsepower out of it, but the size and scale of that allows for much larger engines. So if you think about putting like an LSA Chevy engine in it or a Volkswagen V12, all those are options. And now these exhausts actually work uh, the way they're supposed to. Right now you got the uh, Rotax uh, exhaust sticking out there. So so although this looks like an original Mustang, it looks like it's made of fabric and metal. It's actually all carbon fiber. And the detail that they put into it is absolutely amazing. So you see these look like actual rivets, but they're not rivets. This is a carbon fiber honeycomb structure that's way stronger and more rigid than the Mustang originally used to be. And if you look at the details, it's not just rivets. If you look up close here, we've got actual screws. They're not in the same pattern. They're all turned a little bit to look extremely authentic, but have that incredible rigidity that you have with the modern technology of carbon fiber. The original P51 Mustang was made with aluminum and these rudders here were made with wood beams and fabric on top of it. And you can see here the beautiful uh, fabric covering over these wood pieces, but the difference is in this airplane, it's not wood and fabric. This is made of carbon fiber. So it's stronger, more rigid than the original Mustang while also being lighter. So this wing was designed in a way that it didn't need the same spars that the Mustang had, but to be true to form, they added the same spars that the original Mustang had, except this time they're made of carbon fiber. This thing has been tested at 240 knots uh, and they know that there's absolutely no problem with any type of wing flutter. So as you get faster, the big concern about going faster is you start to get wing flutter and that's really gets to where your limitation of the aircraft is to where uh, you can start structurally damaging the aircraft. On this airplane, because of the carbon fiber is so much more rigid than the aluminum normally had, so far they've tested it at 240, but I imagine once they get a big old V8 engine or V12 engine in it, they're gonna see how fast this thing can really go. But at 240 knots, no flutter at all. Like I said, this is powered by a turbocharged Rotax engine, the 915. So these exhausts don't actually do anything. And the original Mustang had a couple different variants, but primarily V12 engines. Come take a look at the landing gear. So this landing gear, uh, I am extremely impressed with. It is very robust. Uh, so one of the things that we talked about is can you take this thing off field? And honestly, I don't know what their testing is, uh, but I would love to fly it because this is just as beefy as my debonair, if not more. And it looks uh, like it would have absolutely no problem landing off uh, a, a traditional paved runway, much like the original uh, Mustang would it. Other cool features on this aircraft, the scoop was originally for the intake of the Mustang. We don't need that because of the way that this engine is designed, but what they've done is they've incorporated the oil cooler in here. So this is actually a useful uh, scoop here. It's not just a, dra a parasitic drag. Uh, it actually use is used to cool the oil of the Rotax. And we have another radiator on the front of it that's used for the water cool. So uh, as many of you know, the Rotax is a water cooled engine. Uh, unlike most traditional aircraft engines, which are air cooled, uh, this is a water cooled engine. Uh, but what that does is it allows for a good transition if you want to do the same thing uh, with a larger car engine, like the uh, LS engine or, uh, or a Volkswagen V12, uh, then you have the option of uh, already having incorporated into it a water cooler and a oil cooler. Uh, so that's, that's really great. So once again, the Scale Wings SW51 Mustang, incredible aircraft, and uh, stay tuned to the channel because we're gonna be doing a lot more work with it soon.